We are back with the Liar Princess and the Blind Prince. We can simply continue and pick up where we left off. I think I'll choose the one that has data. Alright. So I'm going to run up ahead and see. Oh, what? That's an option? Interesting. Oh, I have to hold the hand to do it then? So I'm talking to him. Oh, I okay, I have to then let go. Because I kept holding square, so I just held his hand again. How do I... Is there a way I can adjust... Mm, good enough. Going in. Oh, good enough. I'm looking around for collectibles if I can find any. Oh, it just saves me right here. Alright, so far this is pretty tame. Stand a chance. That'll probably get me killed. Yeah, it saves again just to be sure. Is there a way I could adjust how far that goes? Maybe not. So I guess I gotta aim the starting point very carefully. Whoa! Oh, jeez. That's depressing. I blew it. Hello there, uh, insane buffoon. No. Boom. Alright, so lesson learned. I gotta cross first. Oh, that's a tricky, tricky move. There we go. And I'll go ahead and take this guy out too. Oh yeah, Drake Hall, just the, the little bar is definitely there to show how far the prince will go, but I was wondering if I could adjust that to tell him, like, oh, I want you to stop earlier or later or whatever. Oh, I get it. I figured it out. I was some kind of genius. So. You go there. And I will step on the other one. I forgot that I can die by falling. I shouldn't have done that. What is that? Okay. Still, though. Aha! Aha! What is this, Donkey Kong Country? Look at these weird secrets hidden all the way out here. Alright. Oh, no, 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 again. I'll stay transformed for this. There we go. Moving on! Okay, no, it just goes through me. Okay, 
let's get the prince over here. Perfect. Saving again. Hello there, just a name. Huh? Pick up the flowers again. Circle? There we go. Hooray! Saving again. Ah, I see. Maybe I survived, it's fine. So no wolf shenanigans with that particular part, huh? Okay, I'll let it come back down, I guess. I'll, I'll have the prince step on this switch. I wonder if it's too late for me. Like, I, I can't step out of this. Because if I transform, I'm just dead, right? Yeah, no. Alright. This means that I'm going to do this instead. Perfection. You should survive this. Perfect! I didn't know that would happen, but it's good that it did. And that's the exit. Okay. My turn. And we did it! They walked for what seemed like an eternity, and didn't notice how dark it had gotten. Both of them were exhausted from the dangers of the forest. Just as their bellies began to rumble, they found a place they could take a rest. <clears throat> Let's stop here for a bit, said the princess, and she started preparing dinner. Ta-da! The princess took out some meat, her favorite food. I mean, unsurprising. It's a freaking carnivore. Go on, take a bite. Look at her little tiny sharp teeth. I wonder if there's gonna be like a gag about how you're supposed to cook this first. She then offered the bloody meat to the prince. I'm sure the prince will like it too. The princess thought, smiling. Yeah, this is definitely gonna be like raw meat. It's not gonna work. Thank you. The prince put the meat in his mouth, then tilted his head in confusion. <clears throat> um, this tastes odd. It's fresh rabbit meat. It's yummy, isn't it? The princess said proudly. But... <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Wait, this is raw meat! Blah. The prince coughed and promptly spat it back out. The princess, who thought he would enjoy it, looked at him with a blank expression <laughs> on her face. 
Sorry. We don't eat raw meat at the castle. The princess felt bad for the prince. Embarrassing. Oh, really? So, how do you eat meat? Well, we first cook it over the fire. We get sick if it's eaten raw. The princess froze at the word fire. Yeah. Oh, you use that? She was afraid of it and became tense just from thinking about it. I love the idea that the prince thinks this is a princess who just eats raw meat. Like, damn. I see. Er, I'll go and find some fruit instead. And with that, the princess managed to avoid further discussion of fire with the prince. Awkward. And we're moving. Different environment. It's a lot more green. Cool music. Oh no, it's gonna slow me down. Yup. That's pretty creepy. I can definitely see those things becoming a problem. Oh, whoa, oh, hello. Alright, so let's get the prince back. This is frustrating because I can't hold his hand as a wolf, so we're just gonna have to... Can I? No, we're just gonna have to deal with going really slowly through this spider webby stuff. Oh, well. <clears throat> That's not terrible, but... Mm, I guess at least we got the enemies, right? Are we Okay, we still can jump through it, so it's not, not that bad. Oh, I see. Alright. You know, I actually, I wonder. Now I really can't go any lower. Oh, I see. Actually, let's get the prints for this. Doing it. You stay here. Huh? Huh? bring the prince with us. And now we check for more enemies. And you actually can walk there. Interesting. I'll have to look into that a little later. Moving on. Whoops. I thought I could get away with that one. I'll check the upper path first. <clears throat> Sproing. Okay. No harm done.
and we fall. No. Yes. Actually, let's stay wolf. Nothing immediately here. There's gotta be something I can do with this. Ah, there it is. A little weird, but okay. <clears throat> so that'll be for this weight, I suppose. Or perhaps for this one. Or maybe neither. Maybe I just carry it across. Huh? Huh? Aha! <clears throat> Alright, now that's a problem, but... I bring the prince with me. Now I think it's heavier than I am. Why do I get the feeling I'm going to still need that? I can't bring it up either. Can I even have the prince jump on that? No, I really can't. I wonder if I blew it. I also wonder if I can make this go even higher. No. That is a pickle. Well, I don't know what to do about this. Unless I just have to fall into the broken plank on the left. Well, I'm out of ideas. I actually don't know how to get this to work. I might have ruined it for everyone. I don't, I don't think this is going to work. Go that way, do it. This is a pickle. Oh, there it goes. Jeez, scared myself. And we go here. Never let go. I must have held his hand X number of times. Uh. Oh, okay. So now I need to do this. Yeah, you know what? Let's get on this thing first. And now... Actually, why don't I just do this? Yeah, that's what I'll do. So I'll lower this a bunch. And then... Got it. And I screwed it up? Perfect. But that's okay, I pretty much got it. There, perfect. First try every time. Alright. Man, I am a true master. Yeah, you, you're allowed to land on mushrooms. Thank you, game. They got me a little nervous. Nah, I think we gotta be human for the way down. And now let's wolf it up. This has got to be wolf only. There's no way the prince is dealing with this. Yep. 
mastery. Actually, come to think of it. Did we look at the blind design? Yeah, clothes look poor and are ragged, beige-ish in color. Neck part is pretty open, sleeves are a little spread. And for the crown and cloak, when inside his cell he doesn't have the cloak on, but the princess finds it and puts it on the prince. Here you are, your cloak. Feet, barefoot, his feet get dirty since he walks outside. Eep, drip, oh, I uh, can't do it. And the thank you in the lower left. Animation design. Mostly doesn't have an active personality. He's also lost his eyesight and walking in the forest blind, so he's anxious and has become very timid. Would like for him to have animations where he brings his hands to his chest and worry, or squats down and holds his head. And then we have the witch design, which I'm really excited about. Overall appearance. Since she's the witch of the forest, her motifs include things found on mountains. Mushrooms, ferns with curly tips. The eeriness of barn owls and the unknown. These things form the basis of her design. Mystical Staff. Her staff is based on a fern-like plant. The staff is still alive, so it occasionally opens its eyes. Curled fern-like part of the staff doesn't have that much thickness. Hat. Looks like a straw hat. There are cuts in the hat's brim. The pointy top of the hat is where her favorite item from her collection is suspended. Hat is filled with black mush and drips from the brim's edge. Objects hang from parts of the brim that resemble upside-down mushrooms. Artistic approach. Legs. Resembles bird feet with three front talons and one back talon. Feathers start in the middle of the body and spread out circularly. That is such a cool design. Can't do any more with this, though. An album? Sunflowers? Oh, I can actually read this? Once upon a time, so very long ago in a faraway land, there was a witch who ruled a kingdom surrounded by a forest. The witch performed powerful magic to grant people wishes, and the people adored her as a god. However, granting those wishes came at the cost of the requester's life. Still, people sought after the witch's magical power for miracles, and the number of people who sought this power never decreased. Oh boy. One time, a desperate mother came to the witch. Please cure my daughter's fatal, incurable illness. I will give my life in return. The witch granted the mother's wish. But the witch did not immediately take her life, and allowed her to return home. The mother embraced her daughter, who was cured from her illness, and shed many tears. Oh, if I could continue living with my daughter, how happy I would be. Then the witch took the mother's life. <laughs> Damn. Memories. The Wolf and the Prince. Oh, it's cutscenes. Wow. That's freaking <laughs> no mercy. Yep. You are out of here. Well, does this just spawn them? Oh no, so falling in is death. But I can walk here as a wolf. And there's the exit. Boing. Boing. Uh, bleh, bleh, bleh. Boing. Alright, so we absolutely must get this platforming right. It gives me a save just before because, yeah, we need that. Not terrible, just. Oh, uh, whoops. Not terrible, just don't mess up. And we're through. Actually, before we finish the level. Okay, no, I have 22. I need three more. Yay! Oh, we're just going to another level, alright. It's a flower that expels seeds after a strong impact. Let's attack it in wolf form. Nice. There it goes. Alright, that'll come in handy later, I'm sure. My god, it's invincible. The flower is undefeatable.
point. Nothing to speak of as far as enemies. Flower, but for what purpose? Oh, hello. Interesting. Okay, I gotta watch the angle. It's. Yeah, okay. I'll get out of here. There it is. That's kind of cool, though. That's interesting. What happens if I hit the other one? If anything. Nah, no, no swag for that. All right, that's kind of cool though. All right, let's get the prince. To the exit. Ah, oh, this again, all right. Actually, yeah, I don't see any trinkets, so let's just, oof, that was close. These freaking mushrooms. That's a no-go. Oh no, it's another infinite thing, so forget it. Ah, oh, that's kind of clever. I gotta, like, keep doing it, make sure I know how the, the game works, this mechanic. Yeah. Did it. Well, well let's, let's get the prince. Here we are. Boing. Oh, how in the world do I get up there? Wow, how do I get up there? Well, for starters, uh, oh, that was bad. It's fine. Way too close. Hey Prince, let's go. Boing. That was way too close, dude. Now how do I get the rest of this done? I guess I can do this though. Boing. Yeah. But how do I get the Prince to come to me? There's gotta be a way to make this work. Man, I don't know about this. Unless I just... Actually, I probably do just take him down here and run. If we can survive that fall. Routine Hunter, you're damn right. I think I will have to just do that, actually. Nope. No way around that. And the wolf's like, oh god. <laughs> Ugh, that's rough. However, the good news is that... Yeah. The good news is that I got the little golden things, so I don't have to get them again. 
Aha! Goat family design. Oh, look at these things. Design is based on mountain goats. They're carnivorous and have fangs. They like eating, so they're round. Might be good to have them slobbering. Mushrooms and mold grow on them. Hair on the throat is tufted. Side. We have father, mother, child. Hand. Each of their three fingertips is a hoof. Ah, oh, that's bizarre. Looks like a nail. They're not stick thin, but are the fingertips as a whole are hooves. Family. Family of father, mother, and child. Father is the base design. From him, the design is adjusted and mushrooms and mold are added. Mother has smaller horns and ears, and the hair around her neck has less volume. Ah, yeah. Child has no horns, and fangs are round. Mouth. Design so the mouth stands out. Animation design. Their demeanor is slow and sluggish. They sway left and right when they move. Legs. Legs have the same structure as the hands, however many hairs cover the legs and are not visible. Wow. Alright. Let's make this work. Goody. And now we be extra careful. Boing. That's fine. Boing. I guess I just wait for this guy to go left. I'll see where he turns around, if at all. Yeah, we're good. Oh, whoops. Face plant, and we're out. Actually, not so bad. However, this could be a problem. Oh, there was actually a freaking collectible in there. That doesn't help. I don't want this guy hitting the prints either. How do I get past this guy easily? safety. And boing. Oh, that was close. You're up here. You'll be safe. How do I get that? Like, there's got to be something I can manipulate to make that happen. There certainly is that. First try, I'm bad. Oh, are you... I could have just done that. <laughs> but I got that first try, though. I'm freaking pro. That's the exit. How do I get to that flower area? Oh, there, Maldito Mascarado. I, I made that happen. There's got to be some way there that I'm just not seeing. This is where I got those collectibles, but that won't really help me outside of that. And now I'm curious if there's collectibles in the other nests. That'd be a... I've been out doing that. But yeah, there's there's got to be a way to get to that flower garden. How on earth do I make this happen? It's right there. This is driving me crazy. Unless... 
Nah, the flower's nowhere near here. That wouldn't make sense. That no way. It's facing the wrong way and everything. Wow. It looks like we have a puzzle. Prince over here. I definitely gotta do something about that. That's definitely what I gotta do to get the prince over here. Maybe I should just concentrate on that first. What a pain. Oh well, we'll make this happen. Hello, sir. Alright, I got my save. I, I at least guarantee that I made it that far. Beautiful. You go there. I'll beat the crap out of this flower. It's fine. That is totally what I need to do. Yep. Oh my god, I am a champion for days. Alright. You get off the switch. And now... Oh, god damn it. But I got the save. We're fine. I don't know if that lever is going to stay open, unfortunately. So let's do this again. At least it didn't take long. You know what? At that rate, maybe I'll just leave the prince here and I'll just bring the flower all the way over. That's weird. There, you go there. It'll be fine. Oh yeah, I need to transform, duh. Far enough, I'm thinking. Yeah, not quite there. Damn, I got it. I got it with relative ease last time, and now I'm having all sorts of trouble. Look at this. Perfection. First try every time. All right. Now it's time to pick flowers. Hooray! Can I? 
Oh, I can't transform with the flower. Oh, that's another dynamic to the trickery. Is there a way to put the flower down? I can do retry. Apparently, I don't have to do that. That's a dick move. I don't want to try the stage again. Oh, you know what I'll do? There, that'll do it. I want to pay my ass. Alright, I gotta get the prince off the thing that time. That's so annoying. Alright, well, the more you know. Too far. There it is, second try. Alright. off of here. You step in here. I do this. Perfection. Look at that. I'm a freaking champion. Alright, so now let's go and get that flower again. That's right, I can go this way. There we go. Tricky, tricky. This game got me. Uh, Kaze, I do not believe I can command the prince from afar, because I got a whisper in his ear. I think the controls told me to hold his hand to make this work. Too bad, right? Anyway. We'll just pretend he likes it, because I can't see. There we go, I think I did it! Hooray! We're moving! Oh wow, three stages in a row. Okay. Oh! We're at the house. Darkness fell. The witch's house was still relatively far away. Is it? Is it some other house? They began searching for a place to spend the night. Oh, this is just some house. After wandering for a bit, they found an unstable cabin that was covered from top to bottom with mushrooms. It's pretty rickety. Maybe we could stay for just one night? The princess said anxiously. They firmly held hands and entered the cabin. The inside of the cabin was even darker than the forest. Only a few blurred shadows were visible. The princess squinted her eyes to see what they were. Do you have to say that she squinted her eyes? Just squinted, right? Oh damn, there's the goat family thing. Whoa, so many corpses. The princess realized the shadows were dead goats lying all over the floor. Maybe I don't want to stay here. Hey there, Desinoj. What? Corpses? The prince was stunned. Yeah, imagine that you're blind and your friend's like, oh man, a whole bunch of dead bodies. Perfect timing. I'm hungry anyway. Oh jeez, I didn't think she was a scavenger, but alright. Let's eat them for dinner tonight. <laughs> what? The prince, believing that the corpses were human, oh she never specified, was taken aback by the princess's outrageous suggestion. That is pretty funny. Oh, corpses! Let's just eat them. It's fine. <laughs> Jeez. 
The princess left the prince to his own confusion. Oh, what? You're not going to clarify? And decided to sample one of the goats. Can you imagine hearing your friend? Oh, well, let's eat them for dinner. And you just hear, like, and you're like, whoa. <laughs> oh my god. Just as the wolf's lar- yeah, this thing's still alive. Just as the wolf's large fangs were about to sink into the goat's stomach, ugh, it let out a weak cry. The prince heard the groan and called out to her. P princess that human's still alive! The wolf clicked her tongue and re reluctantly stopped eating the goat. Oh my god. Nature's law was to eat weak prey, after all. I love that. Just uh, Can you imagine that? Could you not eat the, the, the guy who's still alive? Ugh. Oh, the full arcana? No, the goat just- the goats just have mushrooms growing on them, apparently. She stared at the prince, disappointed. So he thinks they're human beings, she thought? Guess I can't do anything about that. You can just tell they're goats, it's fine. The prince called out to the goats and listened to their story. Princess? These people are starving and can't move. Maybe we could help them? Oh no, we're delaying our journey. The wolf wanted to be closer to the prince, so she grudgingly agreed. Can you imagine? Can we help these poor people? I was gonna just straight up eat them alive, but I guess we could do your thing. <laughs> they set out to find some food for the goats. So much for a good night's sleep, am I right? But who knows, the goats might help us in our time of need. Ugh! Wait, what? Oh. Oh! Interesting, so I can I can screw myself over by destroying all these? And I'll have to die? Yeah, interesting. Wow, so I'll have to do this with a delicate touch. Good enough. Ladies and gentlemen, not exactly new game mechanics, but kind of. Apparently I just push these things by walking into them, so that's something. Well. Oh, that works too, actually. Huh. Alright. No. Alright, that thing's gone. No. That thing's gone. All right, we're out of here. And we got switches. I guess I'll need to knock some item on the... F there it is. every time. Oh, no, I need to jump up there. There. Oh. Hooray! Die. Okay, that thing's gone. Guess we're falling. Alright. Moving on. Oh. Oh, I could always go back up and get it if I needed to, though. 
hill to save myself a trip, I'll hang out on the left side. That's death. But it shouldn't be hard to make the jump over there. Oof, a little scary though. And we get ourselves a save. I just slide off of this stuff? Alright, freebie. That's death, but I can go under that next area as a human. Moving onward. that flower again. And there's gotta be some way to get up there. It's ricochet time. It's ricochet time. It's... That was terrible. It's... 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 Oh, it was ricochet time. Did it. But how do we get to that higher ledge? That's what I'm curious about. At least we got the save. He'll be fine. It's a mushroom, it's all good. Now look at that tricky move. Oh, he turns around. Still, though. Is that it? Alright, you die. Yeah, the wolf is just straight up immune to seemingly all damage. last minute way to die. Alright, but now I see what I need to do, right? Alright, time to find the prince and be immune to all damage. Here we are. So, let's do this. Huh? And you will go that way. and I'll take care of the rest. How about that for strategy? And I already cleared out the whole level, so this should be a piece of cake. Boom, look at that. And we're done. Hooray! Where's the food for the goats? Oh, we got it. They returned to the cabin with a lot of meat. Are the goats meat eaters, even if they're sharp, sharp teeth? And gave it to the goats. I got a lot, the princess said proudly. Help yourself. The prince quickly intervened. Princess, wait. We haven't, again, we haven't cooked the meat yet. Goats are monsters, so they love raw meat, but the prince still thought that they were humans. 
Uh, just settle. I love the princess, just like, ugh. If I mention how monsters eat raw meat, the princess thought, Hell no, I'm a monster. That is a good point. She was eating raw meat. She decided to play along with his story. Oh, what a pain in the ass. Okay, um, we better cook the meat then. But I've never made a fire, so please teach me how to do it. She managed to avoid a potentially awkward situation. <laughs> the princess tried to follow the prince's instructions to light the fire. She really did get a lot of meat to light the fire, but... Ah! No! I'm scared! The princess was still deathly afraid of fire, so I get the feeling this will be a gameplay mechanic. She began to cry and asked the prince for help. The prince wasn't confident that he could make a fire because of his blindness, yeah. But he was happy that she had asked him for help, so he agreed. Okay, I'll give it a shot. The prince summoned a little courage for the princess. Take the prince next to the lantern. Interesting. And princess can do it though. I guess you have to. Let's make a request to hold. Okay, so left and right is walk, and a hold is up and down. Oh, I really have to be right on top of it. There it is. If you place the lantern near a spot where fire has gone out, you can light that spot on fire again. Do I do it on the meat, or is there some place later in the level? Yeah, no. Probably gotta find some obvious location. Oh, 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 just walk over it and you're good enough. I did it! Mechanics! Oh god, that's terrifying. The meat turned out perfectly, but goats don't eat it, so they were mad. The goats were utterly delighted. And immediately, the princess is like, Ugh, and immediately ate all of it. Cooked meat is amazing, Ma! Thanks. You helped us, Ma. We almost starved to death, Ma. One of the goats said, thanking the two. I'm glad. Can we stay here tonight? The princess asked. Of course, Ma. It's a little dirty, and overrun by mushrooms, though, Ma. I guess it's like, nah, like goat sounds. The goats took them into their home. The long day finally came to a close. The prince was exhausted and dozed off, but the nocturnal wolf could not sleep. She then murdered the goats and ate them. The restless wolf wandered outside the cabin and found one of the goats, I guess the father, chasing a rabbit. The rabbit went swiftly and nimbly, and the goat was unable to catch it. Guess that's why they were starving in the first place. Oh, hi, wolf. Hunting's hard, ma. But you got so much meat in the blink of an eye. You're pretty good, Ma, the goat said, innocently, praising the wolf, the wolf's hunting skills. The wolf shrugged off the compliments. She was worried the prince would overhear the goat calling her a wolf. When she tried to cut the conversation short, Oh, that human? Is he emergency rations, Ma? Ugh. <laughs> the, go the goat asked frankly, which startled the wolf. Damn. 
いいアイデアだね。Not a bad idea. Maybe we should start doing that so we won't starve again. まあ、uh, but if I were you, I'd get a fatter human. He's so skinny. He'd be a midnight snack. まあ Normally, the wolf would engage in this banter, as eating humans was common amongst monsters. But now that she was traveling with the prince, she became alarmed at the goat's words. That is pretty creepy. Like, just think about that. You're sleeping in this monster house, and it's like, well, you saved my life, so I guess I'm not gonna eat you. It's like, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no. The prince isn't like that. The wolf inadvertently denied. The goat didn't let her blunder go unnoticed. Hmm? Could it be? You want to get along with humans? Huh? The wolf knew. The goat knew the truth. But she refused to admit it and kept quiet. You know, it's impossible for monsters and humans to get along. It sounded as if she couldn't be friends with the prince. The wolf opened her mouth to speak, but no words came out. Hey there, Rikdodo. Hey there, Nightmare. You hear of it too, don't you, Ma? Monsters gobbling up humans, humans killing monsters, Ma. The wolf hung her head as the goat continued. If only we'd never saved their life and just ate them while they were unconscious, am I right? No good will come from this, Ma. But you did save us, so if it's something you really want, I'll support you. Good luck, Ma. Okay, I really thought, I actually thought this was going to go a different direction, where the wolf would, like, have to kill him to shut him off. The goat returned to the cabin. The wolf curled up and tried to sleep, as the goat's words replayed endlessly in her mind. She felt uneasy. Up until then, she'd been happy to hold the prince's hand. As the princess, believing there was nothing to fear. But her true form was a monster that the prince hated. We don't necessarily know that, actually. And he still didn't know that she was the one who had blinded him. Yeah, that's true. If he ever found out, it'll be okay. The wolf told herself, if I can just keep this up a bit longer. She didn't sleep that night. The next morning. <laughs> Goodbye! The princess and the prince left the cabin. The goats thanked them again and prayed for their safety, or safe travels. Close enough. Good luck, Ma. Don't eat him by accident. Oh, <laughs> said the goat the wolf had talked to the night before. Oh my god. <laughs> the prince didn't understand, but she did. Oh, jeez. I won't eat him, the princess thought, needing to calm her anxious heart. She pulled the prince's hand and set off again. Oof, man, that almost hit me up, goats. That almost, that almost was really bad. <laughs> ah. Oh, I think I, oh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, time to die. No? All right. I really I blew it. There we go. How embarrassing. 
Let's try this again. It seems that the prince can hold this stone. Let's ask him to hold. Let's ask him to place. Yeah. Good. And the item stays acquired, so there was no loss. And you can pick that up. What else can we do with it? I suppose put it here. Now what's off to the other side? Oh no, how do I open this? I'm gonna have to come back. What a nuisance. In any case. You. Pick up. And now, jump. Jump. And, put down. Actually, wait a minute. I wonder if this works for two levers. Do you think I already opened the Void of the Flower? Nah. Not lucky enough. Actually, speaking of flowers... Uh, well, I do have these. Mole design. Base design of the monster is a mole. They hate sunlight and dwell in caves, live in groups in a nest. They're carnivorous monsters and eat meat, but since their eyesight's declined, their other senses have heightened, especially smell. So flowers are their favorite food. Legs. Their legs get skinnier as they get closer to the groin. Mouth. Doesn't look like they have mouths, but when they try to eat something, their mouths open, and that is terrifying. A fissure forms when they open their mouths wide, similar to bucal cones of sea angels. It's pretty shocking. Uh, yeah. That's terrible. Eyes. Since they lived in caves for a while, their eyes have deteriorated. The size of their eyes is huge. Child. Child moles have short beaks and no tails. Chubby body shape. Animation design. Designed to grow attached to the character. They jump and hop. While they all run to you, one might trip and fall. And skitter, skitter, swoosh. Ah! They tilt their heads to look around because of their terrible vision. They're split into four parts. Small fangs lined up on the edges. From the front, across, like, cut forms. From there, it splits into four parts. Hey there, Barry. Raccoon design. Enemy covered in dense fur like a caterpillar. They look like bugs because they squirm on the ground, but inside they're quite meaty. Their fur rustles and they move around. Each hair is quite long and resembles a hedgehog's spines. They could open their mouth. Borders on the black and white hair of layers. Front hairs around the top of the back hairs. Or just their approach. We got the size ratio. Alright. And album. This ought to be good. Later, a worried man approached the witch. My entire village suffers from a drought. Please make it rain. I'll give my life. The witch granted his wish, and he returned to the village where it began to rain. He shouted with glee as a village girl ran up to him. The girl's childhood friend and betrothed shared in the joy of the rain. Finally, the wedding can be held, the villagers exclaimed. But no one knew it rained in exchange for the man's life. Th these stories are rough as hell. That witch definitely has a cruel streak. Oh, really? I can't reach that, though. But I can this way. Nah, rats. I gotta time it then. Fine. I'll do this with the prince, too. I'll find out what's down there after the fact. First, freebie item that I won't have to collect again. It's fine. Hello there, Winterburn. Huh? Got it. And... Beautiful. Now let's get the prince in on the action. Actually, did I unlock another... I did. <laughs> Turtle. 
Like a turtle with a tree stump on its back, grass and moss grow between stump and body. Movement resembles a large tortoise. Safe to ride, arms and legs are thick and sturdy. Legs resembles an elephant's. Three thick nails decorate the front feet. Nails rise slightly, but not all that much. Then artistic approach. Alright, up we go. Aha! Magic. I'll wait for that thing to come back. Aha! Perfection. It's gonna be a hell of a time getting the flower over to the prince, you know? I gotta find out how to unlock that flower area. How do I do this? Oh well, we'll find out. There's a problem. Gone. This is just a failure zone. Damn, though, how do I get to the flower? And why are these high jumps? I guess it's just a little too high. The, I really thought that was the exit. It's not. Alright, I guess I need the prince, but damn, I want to see how I can unlock the flower area. Frustrating. I feel like I should have found this thing by now. I hope this game isn't cruel enough to make me go through the entire level to give the flower to the prince, you know? Going up. I did just save. It's fine. Everything's fine. It's fine. Huh? Oh, wow. That was a close one. Oh, yeah, Winter Burn. This music does kind of sound like Dark Cloud ish. <laughs> myself. There it is. Thunk. Ah, rats. Prince, you gotta, you gotta work with me here. There we go. Okay, wondering if there was any, uh, golden leaf things. You. Get on it. Oh. That's right, I can have the prince pick it up. You. Pick it up. Cool. Now... work. I step on this. You're down. Now I gotta find a way to make him walk and not die. I guess that's the puzzle, right? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Put it down. I'll take care of this. 
ฮะยูเดมไรท์ that's probably death there ha how do I get to the flower this is gonna drive me insane Oh god damn it! Well, that's not cool, man. Well, at least we're right here, right? Oops! I stepped off too early. That's kind of funny. Picked it up now that it's actually here. A dude, really? There we go. Now you put it down, and now I smack it over there. Beautiful. And now we do it right this time. Beautiful. Actually, let's look for enemies. No, this is the exit. So how the hell do I get to the flower? Well, now I'm past the point of no return. I'll have to replay the stage later. Wow, I just totally missed it then. Oh boy, this place looks interesting. Uh, stage select. We're in the witch's garden. We made it through Castle Sylvan, the Forest of No Entry, the Mushroom Nursery. Oh, interesting. So I can see how many golden things I've missed and flower and stuff. So maybe I'll do cleanup uh, later. All right, fair enough. I guess we'll just do this one more level then. Ooh, that spider. So now the game's doing this. Oh no! Don't do this to me. <laughs> wow. All right. Welcome to Creepy Land. It's a boo. But I do I do see how this is gonna work actually. As long as I look at it, it could be a platform. That's really interesting. I wonder if it's a threat when it's in ghost form. I bet you it is. Oh, yep, it's a threat, all right. Okay, dude. We're out of here. <laughs> Creepy. Sacrifice my life. Oh, nope. Well, I guess the prince is gonna die, it's fine. This music's really pretty cool, though.
Haha! -ha. I'm a genius. But now, how do I deal with this ghost problem? Huh? I don't. Mm, no, we actually made it. We gotta save. Really easy. <laughs> Total freebie. Oh, wait a minute. Haha! -ha. Rough illustration one. In my true form, I cannot touch you. That's kind of cool though. We got all this. Yeah, right, uh, Dracologist. Now the music's like level five with the accordion. Oh, we got the raccoon things. Let's go ahead and take care of that. Boom. Oh, wow. Okay, game. Calm down. Why would this area even exist? Am I allowed to fall here? I did just save, right? Yeah, there's definitely something there. I mean, I died, but that's fine. But there was, there was clearly something to the left. Let's take out the enemies again real quick, because that's the thing I apparently have to do. One, two, three. And... Now what was that portal over to the left? That was weird. Yeah, it just plain backtracking. Alright. Not a big deal, I'm just gonna get back to the prince. And we're in. So to the left was just weird, I guess. Moving on. Yeah, how do I make this work? What on earth? One and two, two and three, three and one. Unless you cross them, the road will not open. Oh no. So what does that mean? Three, five, four? Unless there's something else to it? There's a mysterious row of crystals. Let's have the princess approach it and touch with circle. So what did that say? One, two, two, three, three, one. Two, two, and three, three, and one. There's probably something really easy here. Aha! Oh, it goes up. What says unless they cross? Unless you cross them. This should be obvious, but I don't know what this is uh, about. Unless you cross them. One and two, two and three, three and one. Unless it's one and two, two and three, and three and one. Nope. Arg. Three, five, four. Yeah, no, I just tried that. It didn't work. Oh, cross equals multiplication? Eh, alright, I'll try it. One and two is two, then. If I multiply one and two, two and three would be six, and three and one would be three. I'll try it. Oh, good call, Dragon Ace. Also, I gotta find a way to get the prince in here. That's just the exit. Alright, going back. But after this level, I'm gonna uh, end the stream. But this is this is definitely getting really interesting now. They're approaching the witch's house. 
Also, let me see this. So there are... Yeah, we're about halfway through the game. There are five sections of four stages, and one beginning and one end. Curious. Again, how do we get the prince up there? Oh. Oh, no, that's how I came in, though. I don't want that. But what's the point of this, right? Like, it clearly just established, like, another loading thing. Pr Prince is gone. I, like, I, like, or I, I, I died. I got to redo that part. But still, it was weird. I don't know what to do with this part of the stage. Like, can I attract ghosts to make this work? Unless there's something funky here. I have to kill these enemies again. That's fine. Right, you're out of here. Now I can go back into the portal. Huh? Yeah, it's no good. I didn't really think it would be, but gotta try it. But how do I get to the end of this stage? That's gonna bother me. I hope it's not something weird where I have to go back to the beginning of the stage and remove a block from something. Mr. Panas. Alright, they're all dead. You stand here. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, duh. Embarrassing. The lever's right here. Got it. Solve the puzzle. Marvelous. And so what was it? Two, six, three. Alright. Alright, we're good. Let's get out of here. Alright. Okay, more creepy backgrounds with things hanging. I like how many things, by the way, are the hat with the glowy crystal hanging down from it, kind of like the witch's hat where she keeps your most treasured possession. I'm curious as to where that witch's story goes, because it said she would kill people, but now she wants their most precious thing. Maybe she gets something else out of it that way, I don't know. In any case, this is where I'm going to call it. So thank you very much for joining the stream, and have a wonderful night.